In this video I want to show you my jig for cutting scarf joints in plywood by using a track saw. Hey, what's that smell? Uh, I think it's the epoxy. What are you doing? I'm making a scarf joint. A lot of people put two or more pieces of plywood on top of each other and bevel the edges down with a hand plane, electric, electric plane or a belt sander. Another way would be to use a router which is attached to bars on a plate that lies on a beveled surface or just two bars at different heights. Also there is a jig for a circular saw from West Systems to make these kinds of cuts and I guess a lot of other jigs too. I don't think I am the first to make such a jig, but I couldn't find any information um, about it online, so I made my own version. And here's how it works. You just need to put a spare wood on a workbench and another piece to support the plywood further back and then the plywood you want to cut on top of it. To keep the jig from bending it is a good idea to also put some smaller pieces of plywood to the ends of the long spare wood. On top of that you put the jig with the attached guide for the circular saw. The back side of the jig is being pushed down with another long piece of plywood and a clamp on each side. Let's see what is the thickest sheet of plywood that I can cut. Therefore I put a 10 mm sheet into the jig. The maximum thickness is 9 mm. I also wanted to see how the scarf joints come out, so I cut two sheets and glued them back together with epoxy. waited for it to cure and made a simple bending test. As you can see there was barely any adhesive failure. And here's how to make it. At first you need to cut out the ribs. Therefore it is very important to cut a precise angle which is absolutely the same for all four ribs. In my case I set the miter gauge to 7.13 degrees to get an edge of 97.13 degrees on one side and 82.87 degrees on the other side. You can use a crosscut slit uh, to cut the other sides of the ribs, but it is not so important to make it precise, so a handsaw would also be a good choice.
For cutting the two long parts, a table saw is useful, especially for the beveled front side of the one that is attached to the ribs. This is to give a maximum of support to the lower side of the track and prevent the wood you want to cut with this jig from wobbling around. The long parts should be as long as you need to give enough support to the rail and not being shorter than the plywood you want to cut with this jig. Then you screw the ribs to the beveled piece of plywood, making sure that the front side is flat. Finally you can give the jig a coating. I used oil because I wanted to oil the little tractor that I built with my son anyways. And here's the cutting process again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. Goodbye!